Hello everyone, this is Ali from Toledo Antique and today I am going to teach you guys how to pack teacups. So, if you guys know, we sell a lot of breakables and porcelain teacups are also one of our main sellers. So, this one here, uh, it's a pretty cute one, it's a demi-set uh, teacup, so it's a little smaller than the normal teacup. Um, it's uh, made in USRR and if I'm not wrong we sold for $39.99 so it's a pretty good value for such a small item but you gotta be careful when you pack those type of items because they can break very easy so let's dig into how we pack this teacup so first thing is the cup okay so the cup that is the handle and the handle need to be secure as well the inside of the teacup. So what basically I do is I grab a piece of um, bubble and I fill it up the teacup with bubble. So you might be thinking why I do that. I do that to give more structure, uh, to keep the structure of the teacup intact. So and the walls are very thin when you fill it up inside the teacup uh, let's put this way it's more strong um, then the second thing is I'm going to wrap in bubble but I want to show you guys how I do it so you see the handle right here so all the ending of my bubble it's going to finish in the handle so in this way the handle it's more thick here and i have a more bubble around the handle so what is going to also make the handle more str strong so let me tape this here for you guys all right so here we have the teacup filled with bubbles i have a more bubbles in the handle but it's not just that that we do. You guys know those little piece of a carton boxes that usually like come with bottles. So I grab a piece of those and I'm going to use this uh, carton paper to wrap around my teacup. So what I did here, uh, I know in the other video I teach you I taught you guys how to double packing. Uh, in this case, as I have two pieces, uh, and those pieces is a little different than those figurines. What I'm going to apply here is a technique that we do usually. Uh, it's not like a double boxing, but it's sort of what I'm creating. It's a strong structure with carton box around the piece that it's also going to guarantee that this piece it's very well protected so basically i create uh, a little box around the piece with some extra carton box and i'm going to do the same now for the plate so here you go i have the plate and usually what i do it's like a flip one side up one side down and then you are going to be giving for this plate more bubbles up more bubbles down also make their package more stronger and then you have like this and then we are going to do the same thing that we did with the cup we are going to use a little piece of a carton board and wrap around so in this case i use two uh, pieces of cardboard and i put one in each direction so one in this direction and one in this direction uh kind of a covering the whole piece of course if you have a, a bigger piece of cardboard you can use as well i'm just using the materials that i have here so now i have those two pieces wrapped separate and extra guarantee just for extra guarantee what i'm going to do now i'm going to use the big bubbles and i'm going to wrap around this package 
Okay, so I have my package uh, ready. Uh, if you see, they are covered with the big bubbles. Now I create a very strong structure around the teacup and around the plate. The plate it looks like a pillow right now. And now I am ready to put in a box to send for the client. But before that, I'm going to put some peanuts inside of the box. So I put a layer of a peanuts on the bottom, I put the plate, and then I'm going to put a layer more of a peanuts. Okay, I have everything in the box. So I have a teacup, I have a, the platter or the plate, uh, and I have peanuts. And now I'm going to teach you a trick that I always do, because I noticed this when we buy something and people use peanuts, uh, usually if you just dump the peanuts in a box, what's going to happen is the peanuts are going to just settle and any any anyway and might have a lot of empty space still so what i do is i kind of knock the box on the table to kind of make the peanuts settle and then you can put more peanuts and make sure it's everything full so in this case it's everything full now let's close the box have the box ready. I put in this time more fragile tape because I do consider a teacup more fragile than the figurines. I know the figurines seems more fragile but the teacups are fragile so I did like this and I am going to put the label right here and ship to the client. So if you like this video don't forget to give us a like, subscribe to the channel and tell your friends. We are here to give you tips how to sell on eBay, how to pack, and how to find good things to resell and sell for a profit, okay? Stay with us for our next video. Bye!